we talked about a bogus new Heritage Foundation study on the effects of immigration. If you guys remember, they said, oh yeah, it'll totally cost the United States $6.3 trillion if we do immigration. I mean, the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan put together will cost $6 trillion. You're saying it's going to cost $6.3 trillion to do immigration reform? And then I detailed all the different ways that they used Enron accounting tricks to make it look like immigration is much worse than it is. And also, the same group that released that study, the Heritage Foundation, released a study in 2006 that said immigration would have a net gain of over a trillion dollars to the economy. So it was just absolute nonsense. Well, some smart people over at Think Progress decided to research some of the authors and co-authors of the study to see why they were so off base. And it turns out one of the co-authors of the paper and a new hire at Heritage is a guy by the name of Jason Richwine. Now he joined Heritage in 2010 after finishing his PhD in public policy in 2009. So, uh, so far so good, no big deal, right? Well, the Washington Post's Dylan Matthews dug up Richwine's dissertation, which was titled, quote, IQ and Immigration. Interesting. In it, Richwine argues that Hispanics have and always will have lower IQs than whites. Mmm. Mmm, that's horrendous. So that's right, the Heritage Foundation hired a eugenicist. Well, gee, I wonder why the study said that it's not a good idea to do immigration. Hmm, maybe it has something to do with the fact that the guy that's one of the co-authors is an asshole who thinks other races are inferior? By the way, other anti-immigration groups have come out of the woodworks to fight the immigration reform now, I have to admit, I was hopelessly naive, and I didn't know any people or any groups like this that still existed, and I thought that these guys were no longer a legitimate part of the debate, but they're insisting on being considered legitimate parts of the debate. There's another group, a guy by the name of John Tanton is the founder of the Pioneer Fund, which is a, quote, race betterment organization with the original mission of promoting those, quote, deemed to be descended predominantly from white persons who settled in the original 13 states prior to the adoption of the Constitution. Tanton is a strict nativist who once wrote a paper titled, The Case for Passive Eugenics. It's, they're not even trying to mask the facts that they're horrendous racists. They're like, yes, no, I'm racist. And I'm supposed to take you seriously in the debate, why? Uh, let me continue here. He has openly professed his preference for white people and once said, I've come to the point of view that for European American society and culture to persist requires a European American majority and a clear one at that. Later in his life, Tanton tried to start an organization called the Society for Genetic Education. Gee, you know, this doesn't sound very similar to the stuff that led up to the Nazi movement. Okay, but you gotta understand something. That's not even hyperbole. Like, it's not even Godwin's Law, where y somebody always invokes Nazism and you they go over the top. No, 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 this is a relevant time to invoke Nazism. Why? Because part of what led to uh, Nazism is eugenics, right? In other words, junk science, where they said, oh, we are better than them because we have blonde hair and blue eyes, right? This is the same thing. This is the same thing. Wait, I got more, I'm not done yet. Uh, Tanton's organization has funded one major anti-immigrant group, the Federation of Amer American Immigration Reform, or FAIR, uh, which received over $1 million in funding. So when the Heritage Foundation, when people found out that one of the co-authors of the study at the Heritage Foundation is a eugenicist, the Heritage Foundation vice president had to release a statement. Look at the rich irony in this man. Heritage Vice President of Communications, Mike Gonzalez. That ain't a white name, <laughs> right? Wait. Uh, he released a statement to Think Progress disowning Richwine's dissertation. This is not a work product of the Heritage Foundation. Its findings in no way reflect the position of the Heritage Foundation. 
nor do the findings affect the conclusions of our study on the cost of amnesty to the U.S. taxpayer. I love that. Mr. Gonzalez, while he disowns the racism of the dude who did the paper, he hedges his bets. And he says, yeah, no, 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 yeah, we, total asshole, don't agree with his dissertation, but still, no, immigration will still cost $6.3 trillion. Hey, uh, Mr. Gonzalez, your mother must be very proud of you. Partly agreeing with a eugenicist who is trying to push faulty information to kick Hispanics out of the country. These guys are so goofy. Look, my last thing on this, I know I'm dragging on here, but you have to understand, it, let me explain why eugenics and racism is inherently irrational and it makes no sense, right? Throughout history, there's always been different empires. And there's been empires across the world. There was a Turkish Empire, a Greek Empire, Chinese Empire. There was an empire in Mali, in Africa. Uh, and depending on what time frame you lived in, everybody in that time frame thought, oh my god, well, obviously the Chinese are superior or they're the ones with the dynasty that rule the world. Obviously that's true. Or, oh, look. Well, obviously the Malians in Africa, they got it all figured out. They're the superior ones. Look, they're the ones with the kingdom. They're the ones that control the world. They're the superpower. Obviously they're superior, right? And you go down the line and it's a historical truism. Every time in every superpower, everybody goes, oh, no, we're superior. We got it all figured out. And now in the United States, we got those assholes who do the same thing. But I'm amazed because haven't we come far enough between the, uh, you know, science getting better, uh, medicine getting better, technology getting better, general education overall moving in a positive direction. We haven't gone far enough to realize the basic truism of just because your guys might be uh, in the top 1% of society doesn't necessarily mean that they're superior in every facet of life.